Hello everyone. Uh, let's consider this question here. It says a hundred gram ball and a 60 centimeter long string is swung in a vertical circle about a point 200 centimeter above the floor. The tension in the string when the ball is at the very bottom of the cycle is 5,0 newtons. A very sharp knife is suddenly inserted as shown in the figure to cut the string directly below the point of support. So now the question is how far to the right of where the string was cut does the ball hit the floor? Okay. So initially, the object is moving in a cycle. Then at this point, the object will move initially horizontally. Then after that, if the experience is gravity as a result is going to curl until it hits the ground uh, somewhere there. Okay, so let's check what is uh, what is the question here. So we are looking for this distance. You can even call it R a range, or you can call it X. So the formula now is going to be: you can say R is equal to the initial X, which is zero. We can even leave it out. Plus The velocity times the time. Okay, so this velocity of course is Vx. Alright, so now this object is moving as a projectile, so which means the only force that is acting is gravity. So we can consider both the horizontal and vertical component. Okay, so the initial distance, horizontal distance covered, you can take this point as zero. So which means you're going to have Vx times T. So now we need to calculate T, we need to calculate also Vx. So we can make this to be um, the initial formula or the first formula. Now, we need to get the time taken from this point to the final point when the object hits the ground. So we also need to get here the initial velocity. So the speed when the velocity leaves this point, which is the tangential velocity of, of the cycle. Okay, so now let's go to Let's go to the cycle now. Okay, so now we're here in the cycle. So what you know is F net is equal to MA, um, where A is the centripetal acceleration, which is the same as v squared over r. Okay, so now f net here. So we have the tension. Two forces we have the tension, we also have gravity. So which means t minus mg is equal to m v squared r. Okay, so now we need to calculate uh, this guy here, this speed, which is the one that we are looking for when the ball leaves the cycle, which is the tangential uh, velocity. Okay, so let's make it the subject of the formula. So if we make it the subject of the formula, what are we going to have? We're going to have v squared 
which is equal to T minus M G into R over M. Okay. So, which is also, you can even write it as R radius over M into T, the tension minus gravity. So if we make V the subject of the formula, we can apply the square root both sides. So we have R over M into T minus MG. Then now we can make the substitution. We do have R. What is R? 60 centimeters. We convert it into meters. Then it's going to be 60 divided by 100, which is 0 0.6 meters over. What is the mass? The mass was given 100 grams, so it's going to be 100 divided by 1,000, which is 0 0.1 kilograms times, are we given the tension? The tension is 5,0 newtons. Mass is 0, 0,1 kg times the acceleration, which is 9,8 meters per second squared. Okay, let's punch calculator. How much are we getting? Square root of 0, 0,6 over 0, 0,1 times 5 minus 0, 0,1 times 9,8. The answer is 4,91 meters per second. So that is the speed once the string is cut. So which is the tangential speed? Um, of that ball. Yeah. So now this speed is, of course, it is horizontal. So the speed is, is horizontal. So, and now the object horizontal doesn't experience any force. So there is no force that is acting on the object horizontal. So which means horizontally the object is moving at a constant speed. So which means V0x is the same as Vx, is the same as V final x. So is the same horizontal, the speed remains the same. So which is 4,91 meters per second. So now we need to calculate the, uh, the timeline. But uh, horizontally, we don't have enough components. Let's check now vertically. Let's check what do we have uh, vertically. So vertical component. Okay, let's check. Now we have y. Okay, so you can see y zero is the same as zero uh, meters. Then we have let's see y one. Y one. Okay, so it, it, it depends. We can take the starting point as the point of reference. Or we can take the ground um, as the point of reference. So the object is moving like this. Um, so, yeah, initially, so we take Y1 as the distance that is, uh, that is covered. 
So which is going to be 200 minus 60, which is 140 centimeters, which is 1,4 meters. Okay, we can even say it's, or we can say delta Y is equal to Y1 minus Y0, which is equal to 1,4 meters. So it is, uh, it is up to us on how to work it. Or we can say Y initial is 1,4 meters, then Y is zero. Uh, I mean, Y1 is zero. If we take um, the starting point as the point of reference, or we can take the ground as the point of reference. So it is up to us. Okay, let's check uh, another thing that we have with A, Y, which is equal to G, which is 9,8. meters per second squared. This is acting downwards. This is also downwards. This is downwards. So let's check what else do we have. So initially, the speed along the vertical direction is zero. OK. Let's consider now the formula to use. Then we can say delta Y is equal to Y initial delta X plus half G delta T squared. So this delta Y, you can even write it as Y1 minus Y0 equal to V initial delta t plus half g yeah, delta t squared. Then let's substitute. Here we have 1,4 meters equal to the initial, this part is zero, plus half times g is 9,8 meters per second squared. Then delta T squared is what we are looking for. Okay. Another thing that you can do before we make substitution because it is always good to make what you're looking for the subject of the formula. So we can make delta T the subject of the formula before we make substitution. Then we're going to have two delta Y over, over G. Then we have delta T, okay, this is squared. Delta T, if you apply the square root both sides, Delta T is going to be the square root of two, delta Y over, over G. Then we make substitution with two times one comma four meters all over one, nine comma eight. Okay, let's get what is the answer. Yeah, let's punch calculator. Okay, so we have the square root of 2 times 1,4 over 9,8. So the answer is 0, 0,5. Or 0 0.54 seconds. Okay, so we have T. Now we can substitute this into the first formula. Remember the first formula we said 
R is equal to Vx times delta T. So we got Vx is 4,91 meters per second, then T is 0 0,5 seconds. So what is R, the range? So it's 4,91 times 0 0,5. So it's 4,91 times 0, 0,5, 35, okay, let's check. So the answer is 2,63 meters. That is the answer that we're looking for. Okay, so which means, you can say therefore, The ball hits the floor two comma six meters to the right of where the string was cut. Okay, that is the answer. Okay, I hope it is clear to everyone.